Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just walking in a peaceful woodland on the slopes above the River Dart in Devon. It's just down there, the River Dart. And um, we're actually almost at the very end of the River Dart. In fact, we've even gone past the town of Dartmouth. The reason we come up into these woods is because that behind me is what we've come to have a look at. Now this is the beginning of what's going to be our adventure around Dartmouth Castle. Now, this isn't the part of Dartmouth Castle most people come and see. This is the oldest part of the castle. You can see the trench here that was dug around the walls. The 13th century castle is behind me. If we go around here, so we're just down in, I don't suppose it would have been a moat because the sea is out there, but if you look behind me there, you can see the walls of the castle and just there is a tower and looking out that way goes out to the sea. So what we'll do, we'll have a, a walk around here and we'll have a look, there's going to be some fine views and we'll go around some of the more, the newer parts of Dartmouth Castle. So as we come out here, the view opens up. Very sunny, I'm going to have to put my, my sunglasses on, excuse me. Okay, that's better. Um, look down there, you see the beach and panning around you can see the 16th century castle. That tower there I think is a Victorian folly and the tower over there is St Petrick's Church which we'll go and have a look at soon. So the walls we came up to, we started behind are just here, so the tower is over there. We're now going to go down and go have a look round the castle. So let's go. This is the South Coast Path. One day, don't know when yet, but one day I'm going to do that, all of it, and I'll make lots of videos. But as I said, I don't know when it's going to be. So I'm just um, coming up to Dartmouth Castle now. So this is the castle. Now I am just going to briefly pause this video while I pay to go in. Okay, so as if by magic, I've now been in the shop, paid, um, come down here. It's one of the big guns looking out to see. We're going to go down underneath this building because you can't see the huge way well, you can see out there. There's that folly, it's like a little tea room. People buy an ice cream, a cup of tea. Might get an ice cream for a tough time. Let's go down these steps into the guard room. So there's the original castle up there and the woods where we started this video. I'll take my sunglasses off again now. Now here we are, some information on the castle. So it tells you here about Dartmouth's first castle. So if you have a look there, that's, I think that is the walls we were behind when I started the video. There's an old chapel in the picture. That's probably where the new church of St. Pedrock now stands. Um, in fact, there's a picture there as well. So I think actually we were there. We came across the woods. We walked around there because the, new, the part of the castle we're in now is here, but it hadn't been built in the area of this picture. So we'll walk around that. Then we'll go around to the new castle, not new castle, the new castle, and uh, we'll finish up at the church. So um, oh, there's a, if you have a look here, I've just seen this. This is such a cool model of the castle. Look at this. It's a model made out of wood. Now you look, there's a handle for me. If I turn this, watch what happens. I've demolished the castle. But if I keep turning, it might return. But it's also quite fascinating. Look at all this underneath. All these cogs. I love this. This is brilliant. You can actually see. I think what will happen is, so, I'm turning, I'm turning. Nothing much is happening. No castles appearing. But see this? Quite hard to show you. See this one here, there's a big lump coming round now. See that there? When that hits that orange wheel, it'll push the castle up. So if that goes round, oh, um, there's obviously two of them because half the castle's already come up. The rest should now come up. There we go. So yeah, I think that's pretty 
exciting that, I like that, that's a bit different. Oh, um, nearly left my sunglasses behind. So I'm gonna go out here. That's where we came in, We're going down a small staircase now. So this is where they would have fired out to the English Channel when they were at war with France and when um, French ships were often being captured by English ships and vice versa. So you can see these cannons, uh, not cannons, cannons, they would have shelled, fired out to see. See the equipment, how they would have used these to stuff the cannons with the cannonballs. Very quite powerful things. Lots and lots of gunpowder would have been in here. Walk into here. We're just coming into. Enemy ship sighted, sir. Range two four hundred yards. This is what it sounded like. Bearing two four seven. Speed four knots. Range two five hundred yards. On the shell. U seventeen. Load. So they're going to fire something. So you can hear the sound of what it would have sounded like as they. Reminds me a bit in Edinburgh when you hear the one o'clock gun fire. I was in Edinburgh recently and um, heard it, and those of you who weren't expecting it all jumped. It was quite funny. So we're going here. This is where all the stores are. That's it, says store. And it gets quite low here. This is where all the different types of stores. So we go through here. There's a little, this is the shell, you can't see it, but it does say shell store. Um, it's pretty bit dark to actually show you. Cartridge store, you can't really see the writing. But if you went in here, um, it's, you all can't see it, but believe me, let's go out into the light. There were some cartridges in there. That, down this little bit, there we go. Right, let's go outside now. It'll be lighter now, I promise. We came down that spiral staircase. We're now going outside up to the gun tower. So leaving the 16th century part of the castle behind, and we are going up round here to the gun tower. Here's the Church of St. Pedrock, which we are also going to go and have a look at. So we're just coming down this way. So it's beautiful, this is the parish church. There are quite a few churches around here. There's a few more in Dartmouth. Going here, into the gun tower. Here we go. So we've come in here. The gun tower is behind me, and so is the, um, the top of St. Petrock's church. If you look out there, you can see the sister castle, Kingswear Castle, which um, not today, maybe one day we'll go there. I've got to get the steam train back up to painting at five o'clock. It's about half past three now, so I haven't got a huge amount of time. But as I said, there is the chancel window in St. Pedrock's Church. This is the gun tower. So we're going to go in to the gun tower and have a look around. So this is inside the gun tower. You can see by looking down there how it's built onto the rock. And we'll go, you can go down there, but um, we'll go upstairs. Down there you'll just see more of what we saw. Coming up here, there's various displays on the castle. Um, I won't go through them all now, so if you ever do come here, you've got something for yourself, you know, to see. Going up, up here now, this very, even a narrower spiral staircase. Uh, such a small spiral staircase it's not that easy holding a camera and coming up and I've got to do it again going down so here we are on the roof of Dartmouth Castle now, if you look out there I said this Kingswear Castle over there there's another Kingswear Castle paddle steam Kingswear Castle over there so um, yeah it's a lovely place there's another tower there, but you don't actually see a great deal if you go in there. 
Look out there, that looks out to sea. That looks up to Dartmouth. It's such a lovely place. I'm gonna now go out and get to the church. So it's back down this incredibly small spiral staircase. So it's out here, back down here. Apologies if you think I'm rushing this, it's just that my camera battery is quite low and um, I want to get to the church before I finish it. But as I said, um, I just like to give you an introduction when I go to these places. If you really want to see it all, you need to come back and see it for yourself. So out here, because yeah, the idea of my videos isn't always to show you stuff. It's, it is to show you stuff, but it's, the idea is not to show you everything. So you think, well, I've seen it in Henry's video, I don't need to go there. The idea is you come here yourself. So that's why I'm not quite going to show you every little detail. But I do want to show you the church because it's beautiful. Interesting these graves. Some are down here and some are up there. Here's the entrance to the church, St. Petrox Church. It's um, well over, parts of it date back to over a thousand years old. So I'm now in the beautiful, beautiful church of St. Petrock. It's got that very Cornish, Devon feeling of a church. You can just see through the window, where you can't really see it, actually, your camera's not picking out, but behind there is the gun tower. If you have a look up there, see where, so we're now down at the chancel, beautiful window. If you have a look up here, it's, there's, um, the bell, where the bell rings stand, it's by the font. It looks like it's been a wedding here, there's lots of flowers. So it must have been a wedding recently, or perhaps it's going to be one tomorrow. It says 1594 to 1994, so that was when it celebrated a thousand years of this beautiful church. The people have been coming to this wonderful church ever since, you know, going back to when the castle was here, which is amazing. So it's, yeah, it's a lovely place. Um, I'm now going to go outside, I'll finish the video with a bit of a view over the dart and then I've got to go and find the ferry back to Dartmouth. I walked here from Dartmouth. I'm going to go back on the ferry because it's a bit different really and I quite like ferries and there it is. That's my ferry. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.